Hey guys, welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. I have been shopping at the Dollar Tree since 2011, so I've been at this game for a while, and I get tons of comments on my videos asking, Catherine, how are you finding what you're finding? What are the best secrets for shopping at Dollar Tree? What are your secrets? So today, I am dishing my 10 best secrets for maximizing your time at the Dollar Tree. I'm actually a little bit scared to give these away, because what if my store is selling out of all the stuff from my DIYs, but I'm forging onward. I can't wait to share these with you guys. Tip one is to understand the trucks for your local Dollar Tree. The biggest key to success is knowing when deliveries happen. So just ask your store employee. And not only when the trucks are delivered, but when does that merchandise go and hit the floor of the store? When is the stock put out? For my store, it's always on a Thursday. So I know I'm really likely to find great stuff if I go on Thursdays. Tip two is to understand the holiday schedule and when new products roll out. For each of the major holidays, those items are going to hit the floor about one month before the holiday actually takes place. Christmas is a little bit earlier because real celebrating starts around December 1st, so you can expect November 1st, those things are going to hit the floor. Things tend to sell out very, very quickly, so it's important to know that if you're looking for something specific. So there's gonna be two different waves for each season. It's summertime right now, but the first wave of fall stuff has come. And then in the end of July, you'll see the second wave of fall stuff because they want everything out before August. Find your store strength. In some stores, home decor is not going to sell very well, so when you go in there, the selection is gonna be super limited. Remember that that community's sales are driving what is actually delivered to that store. It also helps to know where the banner stores are. That's pretty much the biggest store in the area because whatever is at that store is gonna be at the surrounding stores. So if there is a larger store and those tend to be it, that's another great place to shop. My next tip is to know what to order online. Historically, you used to have to order a full case, but now you can actually order less. For some items, you can order just six units and it ships to the store for free. You go into the store when it arrives and you pick up your box and everything is all ready to go. This is great for things like dinnerware, plate chargers, maybe you have a DIY or you wanna get some of those mirrors to create something really beautiful. Don't waste your gas money and your time. Just order it online and pick it up in your store. The next tip is to understand your store's policy. Dollar Tree does not accept returns, only even exchanges, but you can use coupons. And what's even better is you can use digital coupons. So you can save even more money. I mean, I get that the stuff is already cheap, but if you're standing in line and right there and you can save a few extra bucks, why not do it? You can even save money without any work at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put this app down below. If I just scan my receipt, I'm gonna get a free 25 cents just for buying anything. Next, find your staple items. I have a printable, I'll link it down below, with all of the best items to buy at Dollar Tree that are actually a good deal, because not everything is. I also have photographs of all of the common organizers that they almost always have, along with their dimensions. It makes it so easy. So if you're newer to Dollar Tree, download that list so you can actually save money. I'm so excited. They now have gray organizing bins, which they've never had before. This would be so beautiful and nice neutral in a cabinet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of living for this. Now we're gonna talk about those super finds. When Dollar Tree gets these crazy name brand items in the store that retail for three, five, 10, 15, and up in other stores, and these haulers are showing them and you're like, yes, and you go to your store and it's not there. Here's what you have to understand. Those items are not made for the dollar store. Those are basically going to be one-time finds that you're probably never going to see again. But here's the other great thing. You may never see it again, but then there's another super sweet deal waiting around the corner from when you're in the store. You share Dollar Tree deals. I share Dollar Tree deals. Well, that's a deal right there. This is a deal right there, I tell you what. Next is to be so careful with the tchotchkes. I know it's really easy to get sucked into like this excitement of like new products at the dollar store, but those things honestly become a waste of money and clutter in your home if you really don't end up using them. So what I like to do is hold out for the DIYs that are gonna look really beautiful in my house and add value to my home. So don't feel like just because somebody shared it in a YouTube video, just because I show it in a YouTube video, doesn't mean you have to go out and buy it. Hold out for the stuff that's actually going to add value to your life. 
There's always another good deal somewhere, but your sanity is priceless. That's, that's a really good quote. Dang, good job, Catherine. Okay. My last tip ties into the end of all of my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I share tons of applicable dollar store DIYs, organizing projects that can work for anybody on any budget. I am so thankful that you clicked on today's video. I hope you found something helpful. And please leave comments down below because I legitimately learn from you guys all the time. What are your tips for shopping at the Dollar Tree? I love you and I'll see you soon, bye. Sometimes I wonder if Dollar Tree corporate has ever seen my videos. Do you guys think they have? Like, I wonder what they think. Maybe they're like, oh man, there's that girl with all her coffee going in our store again. <laughs> That's what I would think. Oh, you guys know me. I get excited. We're doing pop bubblegum. This is the very first time Carson has ever had pop rocks. Are you ready to try them? <laughs> I want to go. Uh -huh. You want some? Uh -huh. Let me hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Pop <rock>. <laughs> <laughs>